Um, so let's get started. Um, first, we're going to go over the basic shapes, um, which yeah, I'm sure you guys are all pretty familiar with at first, but they have some really good examples um, after. So the first one is obviously the extension. As we know, it's an unbreakable connection. It's very strong, but it's also very slow. These stones will live and die together once they're connected like this. Uh, the next would be the diagonal, which we're going to go much deeper in uh, a little later. But the diagonal is uh, a pretty strong connection, but it is not unbreakable. We're going to show a bunch of examples on how this diagonal can be broken. And, um, you know, it's interesting to see. Next is the one jump. Uh, this group is definitely not connected and can be broken pretty easily when you're not on the edge of the board. When you're in the center like this, uh, you can see that once white flops in the middle here, there's two cutting points. And so white's going to be able to take one very easily. Um, and white isn't in any fear of any danger. So black is split apart. Now on the third line, I'm sure you know that uh, if white was to try the same thing, um, black would be able to defend and the only cutting point black has can now white kill, right? If white tries to cut. And so this group is very well connected. So it's good to know when you want to use this on the side of the board and when you want to use it for jumping up on the board. We're going to look at some examples of those, <coughs> but um, that'll be a little later. We're just going to go through all the rest of the shapes. Uh, next is the Knight's move. You can see the Knight's moves can be cut in two places. Um, I find that double digit Q players and even higher level Q players um, don't realize that every knight's move can be cut. Um, and so they use it for like attacking, which is the proverb, which a lot of the times you should, but a lot of people try and use it to escape. I have seen so many examples of double digit Q players trying to escape or attack with this and then get cut and killed. Um, so let's talk about the cutting points. Obviously there's A and B. Whenever somebody cuts you, it really depends on the ladder. So if you're planning to cut something like this, uh, which is honestly usually one of the best moves in the game to break up a knight's move is almost always good. Um, but yeah, in order to cut, we need to think about this ladder. And so when whatever we cut, we know black's going to try and stay connected. And then once we do cut it, now we have two weaknesses, and this is the weaker side. Uh, if the ladder works, then you can cut for white. If the ladder works for white, then you can definitely cut, and this is good for white. Um, but when we're on the edge of the board, it's far different, because once we try the same tactic, uh, the edge of the board helps black kill white. So there's no problem for black. Like Black is going to stay connected, is my point here. Um, so we have to always keep in mind that the edge of the board, the third and fourth lines are far different from the other places on the board. Um, but on in the other places of the board, this can, is very cuttable, whereas something like this on the side, the fourth line and the third line, it's not as cuttable. So keep that in mind. That was the same with the one jump that we looked at. Same with the two space extension, uh, it's very cuttable. A and B is its weak points. Uh, we can see that when white plays here, <coughs> white just has to pull up. White usually doesn't want to bump its head. So white pulls up and now black has two cutting points. And we can see no matter what happens here, uh, white's not gonna have too much trouble cutting this apart and being okay. Um, same if black played here, it's pretty much the same thing. White makes a pinwheel shape and then black is cut apart. Now on the edge of the board or the third line, we use two space spaces all the time because once again, um, if, uh, if we make this, then it's much harder for white to try and cut, right? Even if we play something like this, uh, because white is going to die. So the edge of the board is always far different from the, you know, jumping straight up or fighting in the middle. So we have to keep that in mind. Uh, the large knight move has four weaknesses. Uh, it's mainly used on the third and fourth line only compared to the other moves where you can use them in the middle. These, this large knight is usually used only on the third and fourth line. Um, it combines 
speed and flexibility, but is not very strongly connected. There is usually a pretty big weakness here. Same with this three space extension or a three space jump. <coughs> uh, B is the weakness here for the most part, but white can get a good cut anywhere between these. The extra large knight's move has six weaknesses. Uh, we see this once again all the time, mainly on the third and fourth line. 